We're ready to slink some dick. We're ready to hand out chopsticks. And uh, let me go ahead and head on over to this tremendous Discord that is D&D. &D. And I'll go ahead and I'll link the fucking uh, the link for you, my brother. All right? Yeah. All right, Thank brother. You. Have fun, Yams. I'll try my best, man. I'll try my best. Uh, hey. I don't think so. If you have Tabletop Simulator open, I can invite you. have been invited. You. Right. Who's SS Smiles? That's me. Okay. Oh, no, you're here too. There we go. All right. Where's my invitation show up? I got a pop-up that said I'd been invited, but I don't know from where. Uh, hold shift and enter, and you should see it. Oh, there we go. Play game, baby. We're ready to sling. Mine just says you've been invited to a game by Rascal. Check Steam overlay. What's the yeah, password again? If you, uh, D and D. D and. Do I have to be in Steam? No, you have to have the game open and then hit shift tab. I have no. tabletop thing open and it just gives me a message saying you invited me. Yeah, yeah, but did you hit shift tab? Yes, or shift tab? Yeah. Discord. Oh, I thought you said shift enter. No. Shift tab will open up the overlay. Oh, so I need to pick my color. What's the password again? D and D, all lowercase. Oh boy, I'm getting a lot of notes. Session one. Can you guys give me like one minute to get a drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get comfortable. <laughs> Gotta open up notes and shit. Uh... You know what? I'm actually gonna get everybody's spell cards. I feel like that's gonna help a lot, especially because we have quite a few. My my team is still better than yours. Oh, whoa, 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 easy, oh, easy, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. easy. Oh, 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 oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Hey. Oh shit! I need to change the push to talk. There we go. We got a different table this time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my yeah. god, it's tremendous. We're playing on the floor. Oh yeah, it's it's gonna. Oh. Yeah. This oh, is, this uh... is really cool. Yeah, someone created this, and it has all the spells and shit. It's bis, bro. It's bis. So we have a warlock, a sorcerer, and a paladin oh, cards now. Yeah, the miter. There we go. What's something. happening? Uh, the main table, but I want to go grab the cards from the other table. Oh, nightmare spirit. That that table had like literally all the cards, all the spells. Oh. That table was so cool. My table's cooler. Okay. Hey, somebody played with my dice. There we go, games PDF, baby. Oh yeah. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The time that we played Dungeons and Dragons, bro. The uh highly acclaimed adventure game where you roll die and you use your imagination for all sorts of craziness. Can I go ahead and pick my color? Yeah. Alright, I'm picking green like last time. Not gonna be purple. Green from oh. Demon Hunter. Oh. Green from Illidan Tattoos. Ew, bro, that's gross. It's nasty. <laughs> nasty. Choose nasty. You nasty. Hey. Oh no, did I not grab the fucking ketchups? Bada boom.
Sorry, I'm back. Yo, oh, no worries. Her. Alright, I'm not gonna do spell cards, because spell cards are all fucked up. That's a shame. But, Wait. I'll figure something out later. So you're just gonna need your character sheet. Uh... Alright. Y'all remember how to play D&D? Mmm... I think how I... How do I make the table move up and... Or like forward and back. Uh, so WASD to move, and then click and hold right click, and then drag to like rotate your camera. I got and it. And then use the scroll wheel to zoom in, zoom out. And you it's can even like tap. The it's it's just wheel. like wow, actually. Mm. Yeah. And then you can tap the scroll wheel to kind of like do a quick zoom in, zoom out. And then you can hold Alt, and that will let you like zoom in on anything you're hovering over. Um, did you make sure Yams had dice this time? Oh my God! Right? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm, in, I'm looking into my little satchels right here, and and I've got my dice: my D4, my D6, <laughs> my D8, my D10, 12, 20. All I'm the D. So I got all the Yams, D's. You got the D. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to sling. I got my little tower right here that I'm gonna drop the dice into. I'm telling you, bro. You never seen physics like this in your life, ladies and gentlemen. It's beautiful. Uh, okay. How many spell slots do you guys have? Rosine, you have two, right? Two first level spell slots? No. How many do you have? Like cantrips? I don't know. Spell slots. I don't know what you mean. I have four zeros and two number ones. Okay, yeah, you have two spell slots. Remember, uh, cantrips are considered zero-level spells, which means they don't cost anything to cast except for your action. And then your first-level spells cost first-level spell slots. <sighs> That's right, okay. Which is two then, why. yes. Yes, I got these fucking excellent little coins here. There it is. Look at those tremendous coins, bro. Uh, so you have two, and Mr. Warlock, you have one. There you go. Bada boom. All right, all right. Are we ready to begin the Hi. first session? Yo, I'm ready, bro. Oh. Oh. All right. This game has its own theme song, so I got to play that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller. You're live on the air with yams and friends in the evening. Oh, shit. I would suggest bringing that bitch down to 10% if you don't already have it. This is the theme song to the Adventure Zone, which is a podcast by the McElroy brothers. Ooh, ah. And in the Adventure Zone, they run a campaign called Balance. And this is that very campaign. <sighs> now, although I'm using the skeleton of the campaign, how you guys interact with this world will 100% completely and utterly changed the fucking story and direction of it, and I can't wait to see how fucked it gets. <laughs> um, well, we have yams, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. I'm so excited. So, uh, definitely avoid anything about the Adventure Zone or the Balance Park. It's got a lot of major spoilers. Uh, so the three of you have actually created characters, so yeah. let's go yeah. around. Yams, who are you? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Yams, a.k.a. the level one warlock. Now wait, quick question. I'm breaking character right here. Am I a Hexblade warlock yet or no? Ha yes. All right, warlocks there it is. And sorcerers. There it is. And clerics all figure out their shit level one. Bada boom. So yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Yams, aka the greatest and best level one hexblade warlock uh, within the realm of where are we at? Favron. 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 Fae. F a e r u n. F a e r u n. Favron. Ooh. ooh. Uh, yes, and um. I'm a very... Do I need to describe, like, what I look like? Uh, you can go into as much detail as you'd like. All right. Well, yams. ladies... That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So, as as you already know, I am Yams. Uh, the greatest and best level one Hexblade Warlock within the realm of Feyron. Um, 
I am a tiefling. And for those of you that may not know what a tiefling is, uh, I am half... Uh, I, I was born of demonic blood. Ooh, ah. Uh, oh, uh, oh, but, ooh. but do not worry, do not worry. Even though I, I uh, was born of demonic blood, I'm a very honorable soul. Um, I uh, crave strength and discipline. Um, but, you know... Um do do not worry of my of my horns that are on my head uh or my height. I'm pretty tall and I've got horns on my head. Um you might see other tieflings within the realm of Feyrun and you might say, "Well, wait, hang on. He's got a tail, but why doesn't Yams have one?" Just cuz I don't like tails. And uh I uh I uh, was not born with a tail. But I've got some tremendous horns. Ladies and gentlemen, just know that. So you are horny. Yo, safe, it's safe to say, yes, this man, this tiefling, this hexblade <laughs> warlock, filled with honor and discipline, he's uh, he's horny. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Woo! All right. Rosine, what you got? I have too many windows open. That is what I have. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You have no idea how many windows I have open to run this. Well, because most of my information's like in our little discard chat. Like a lot of it's not actually on my page, so I'm like, got all this stuff open. Anyway, my name is Roshin, and I am a sea sorcerer. I am. That means I harness the magic of the sea for my powers. I am also a triton, which means I am a being of the sea as well. And I have come from a very far land to adventure and learn about new cultures. Bada boom. Bada boom. And I have a really cool picture of myself that I don't know how to share with anybody, but I am <laughs> awesome looking. So, uh, yeah. Send it to me, I'll get it on a little, little thingy. That goes for everybody here. It's, in, my, it it's in my um, chat with you. Uh, do I got to scroll up? I'm scrolling up. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, yes. Dang. <clears throat> and I could play the pan flute really good. Ooh. <laughs> bass, bro. Bass. Oh, and I have a triton for a weapon because that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, you're not the only one. What? <laughs> that's uh, Dima. Who are you? Oh, actually, I, uh, I, think, I think I'm wearing a lance now. Oh, right, you switched to a lance. Yeah. All right, all right. So, my name is Dima Scalebreaker. Mm. I'm a dragonborn paladin. I am half human, half dragon, and I can breathe fire. And I'm also resistant to fire. So, I am a red dragonborn. <laughs> uh, I was born in noble roots. However, my family went through a lot of problems, and I was an angst teenager. So I left home and became a mercenary. Hmm. However, during many years being a mercenary, I discovered that that's not good. So I found the light and I became a paladin. And I'm just starting as a paladin while I'm still giving away my mercenary life. There it is. Uh, do you have any artwork? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I do. Actually, I'm looking... Hang on, hang on. Yeah, go ahead and send it to me. Because I think when we were building my character, I had shown you... Yes. Yes, I do. Hang on. Why are there two of me? Uh, I'm using... I'm, like, copy-pasting. Where's the code? Oh, you look cool. You look cool, Roshin. Don't I? I know. I saw that picture. I'm like, okay, I'm making that. <laughs> Bada boom. That's the best way to do it, honestly. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick before we start. Ooh, yours is cool too, Dima. Where is Oh, it's on my table. Yo, let's see Dima. Yeah, that, so that one, I found that guy, but he had purple skin so i went to photoshop and changed his skin to red <laughs> and then i had a shield because there was no shield on it there it is there it is so i wow. actually had to work for it <laughs> there it is 
<laughs> it was the only one with a lance that I found. That's tremendous, bro. That's tremendous. <laughs> I like I am no purple dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have a hard time narrowing it down? I wanted to be like a hundred things. <laughs> Me too. I know yams, you were just trying to make yams. So no, I was just, I was just trying yeah. <laughs> it, I was just trying to make yams. Apparently there's no demon hunters within the world of uh Dungeons and Dragons, but with the help of oh, my oh, main oh, man oh. Rascal uh, he helped me create a character that is that is as close to the yams that you know and love as much as possible. That artwork looks fucking sick. Oh, base, base, base. All right, there's yams. There it is, bro. Wow, oh, man. that really looks like yams. <laughs> it's fucking yams, bro. <laughs> Watch out, bro. That man. And see, no no ill in the horns, bro. No neon green tattoos. None of that <laughs> nonsense, bro. Small horns, the way we like it, baby. Small horns. Tremendous. And no green tattoos. Exactly, Beautiful. Bro. And th your name is not Ili Yams. Yo, oofa, oofa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel dirty. Oofa. Not in a good way. <laughs> All right. Let's start this, shall we? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Her. In the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker has asked you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Phandalin. It's a couple days travel southeast of the city. Gundren is clearly excited and a little more secretive than you'd probably enjoy about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brother has found something big. And that he'll pay ten gold to the each of you for escorting his supplies safely to Barthren's Provisions, a trading post in Phandalin. 